gosh is so hot. I already know this clip's gonna be short because it's a million degrees outside and anytime I put my phone up on the tripod, oof, it overheats and shuts my phone off. So that's a good time. Welcome. We're having like a hot girl weekend, you guys. I just did a 30 minute hot girl walk on my new treadmill. And by new, I mean, I got it from my mom's house. It's been sitting there for like 15 years and not used, but it's like really nice. Needed a little cleaning up um, and it's working great. And we can thank Morgan for getting that. We had to take it, like break it apart into two pieces. It was so freaking heavy. Get it down the stairs in my parents' house. Getting it in our house was fairly easy. Um, and I also sold the spin bike. I just never got on it um, after for like the first two months. It hurt my butt. It hurt my butt. I never got used to it and it just wasn't for me. So anyways, Morgan, sadly, so that was all last weekend, but I did do a 30 minute walk just now. And then I changed into this dress. I just needed something not touching my body. Um, and now I'm headed to Target to get us a few things. It's Saturday. We have Monday off for July 4th. I think we're gonna go over to my parents' house and celebrate Morgan's birthday on Monday. My sister is gonna come down, her and her fiance. Um, and Morgan's birthday is on Wednesday, July 6th, so yay. But anyways, headed to Target. Morgan's actually sick today. He's not feeling good, um, like kind of congested, head cold, but he's been resting. I'm gonna go get us probably like a frozen pizza, something really easy for dinner. We're out of coffee and creamer. I need to get a curler because I got one on Amazon, which I loved, but I like almost burnt myself, dropped it, caught it by the cord, and it like ripped the curler off the cord. And even though I put it back together, it eventually fell off again and now it won't go back together. Luckily it was only like $20, so I'll just get one from Target. But there's a few things on the list, so I'll show you what I find. Y'all, did you see when I was walking out the door, I had got this Amazon package and I did order stuff from Amazon, but I think everything's delivery is tomorrow. So I was like, what is this? Maybe something just arrived early. So I open it and I'm like, a Java sock. It's so cute. Look, it like goes on your like iced coffee and it's in this really cute succulent pattern. And there's a gift note and it says, I saw this while scrolling Amazon and immediately thought of you. No idea why I had to get it. So thank you for helping me satisfy my shopping therapy urge. You're a gem from Mindy, which is Mindy over at See Mindy Mom. Love that girl. Thank you so much. I've already texted her. So now I'm going to have to uh, keep her in mind while I'm shopping. And when I see something that reminds me of her, to send her a little thank you. So that is the sweetest. And now it makes me feel like I need to get a nice coffee so that I can use it immediately and yeah okay we're at target so i'm gonna run in and i'll show you what we get okay somehow spent you know 150 dollars. here we are um but got everything on our list so they didn't have morgan's normal creamer but i think we talked about this one before so Gonna um, see if he likes that one. And then I also got this Starbucks one, which I've had before and is very good. Also got some of the Jimmy Dean turkey sausage links. We love those for weekends or weekdays. Um, I also got us some cream cheese icing, the cinnamon rolls, the like large ones, cause we're, we have a long weekend. And then I also got some homestyle biscuits. We're gonna cook a big breakfast tomorrow and then we'll have um, cinnamon rolls maybe on Monday. Got some decaf coffee. Morgan likes coffee at night, um, but I think it's keeping him up. So I picked up a decaf for him to try. And then also we got this one, coffee and chicory. Ooh, you guys, have y'all had these? They are delicious. I'm obsessed. As like the perfect crunch ever. I'm in love with those. Also, this was new and I just thought it looked fun. Goodles, goodles, twist my palm, 14 grams of protein. Um, it's 280 calories prepared and um, there's only two servings in a box. So I thought that was pretty good. And then I also, it was like buy two something, I think. So I got this one, white cheddar with shells. Also got some jelly for the biscuits. That's all. Got a couple of bags of chips. Okay, I got a lot of random drinks. I picked up two Sprites for Morgan since he's not feeling well. I got myself a Coke Zero. They had the poppy drinks, two for four. So I wanted to give these a try. I can't remember if I've tried them or not. 
Um, but it's another like probiotic um, or prebiotic soda, like the Olipop, which I love. So we're gonna try these. I got strawberry lemon and cherry limeade. I thought both of those sounded good. So we'll give those a try this week. Also picked up two of the Munchies protein shakes because they do not sell those at HEB or Walmart, which is where I usually do our grocery pickup. I think that's all in here. This is just some eggs. We needed some different detergent. I think the one we're using is giving Morgan like redness on his chest. Um, also picked up this, it was like $21, just a one inch. Um, ooh, this is a little holiday weekend treat. The two bite brownies are the best from Target. I will say they're better than from HEB. And I know that those are fighting words for my Texans, but trust me, the Target ones are better. I don't know why, but they are. Um, I just got him some mucus relief. Needed some paper plates. Um, and then in here we got a frozen pizza, two frozen pizzas. And this one from Target comes with hot honey. And I'm really excited. I'll show you here when I pull it out, but I'm excited to try that. Okay, so this is the pizza that I picked up. We love the Target brand pizzas. They're really good. And this pepperoni one comes with the spicy honey packet included. So I already baked it. It looks like this, just tomato sauce pepperoni, mozzarella, and aged something, shaved cheese on top as well. Then this is the honey packet and you can just drizzle it over the pizza. You can do it on the crust, however you want, but we're gonna try it. I'll let you know. What okay y'all, so we're eating the pizza with the hot honey and we both really like it. It's super good. It tastes just like fancy. It's a great combo. I was like hesitant because with pepperoni, it seems weird, but no, it's a really good combo. So we both Y'all, it's been a few days and so much has happened. Oh my goodness. Whoops. Okay, I just picked up some Chick-fil-A. I'm homesick today. It's a Friday. Um, I should have like really, I don't know if it's a head cold or just like my allergies. I don't know what's going on, but it feels like the most intense allergies. Um, it's like a tickle in my nose. It's making my eyes water. Highly annoying. I did just take some Amazon returns and then I picked up these um this order from my mailbox which is my abercrombie jeans which i ordered like a month ago um but whenever they came in they were too long i just ordered like the regular length the middle length not short not tall and they have holes on the knees and the holes were like on my shins so they were way too long so i had to order the shorts uh, which is weird because I've never had to order jeans in a short length. I'm like 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five. which is probably 5'4 and a half. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try these on. So like this. It's like kind of a straight leg with the, with the knee hole. I love the knee hole. That's like my thing. So these are the Curve Love, the 90s straight ultra high rise. I got them in a 31, which is a 12 um, in a short. So I'm about to try these on, so I'll show you. Also, I got a new car yesterday, <laughs> which I know the, those of you have, who have been here are like, didn't you just get a new car last year? Yes, I did. I bought the Atlas Cross Sport last year in June, um, traded in my older Jeep or my old Jeep Grand Cherokee for the Atlas. Um, the car is fine. Mechanically, it was fine. Everything about it was fine. Um, had the used car market not been so popping and crazy, I probably would have just kept it for three-ish years and then traded it in um, and got something else. But the used car market is crazy. I looked into how much I could get for it, and it was like as much, if not more, than what I paid for it was the range that it was giving me, which is wild. So I did think about it. And then also, if y'all remember last year, I talked about, I didn't know if I wanted to buy or if I wanted to lease a car. Um, and I ended up buying the Volkswagen, not leasing it. Um, and then this time around, I was like, well, I have a lot of equity in this car. What if I sell it, keep some of the money, put some of the money as a down payment on a lease, and then I'm not like locked into the car, which really you're never locked into a car. You can always just go and change your mind. But in my mind, that made sense. And I could like, we could have some of the money. We're trying to save for a house down payment. Um, so any and all extra funds help at this moment. And we would just, it would take off some pressure for how much we need to save in the next like six months. So we looked into it. The dealership gave me pretty much 
exactly what I wanted um, with Hachi. <laughs> So I looked into it. I went to a Jeep dealership because I just wanted to see one and they only had like the higher trim package. I was just going to look at the like Laredo, which is like the lower package. It doesn't have still a really nice car, but it doesn't have leather. It's a little bit cheaper. So I was looking at maybe leasing that and they didn't have one. They only had the one that I ended up getting, which is the limited version. It has black leather. It's like the literal dream car, like never in a million years that I think I would have this car until I was like 35 and like for some reason 35 seems like I would be making more money <laughs> I would have my shit together more at 35 I'm 29 right now and I am like having a little bit of imposter syndrome because I cannot believe that I drive my dream car and not only that I'm only paying 40 more dollars a month and they're sending me a pretty hefty check in the mail so it probably will take 30 days but so I just funded our house fund a good amount. He's back. Um, funded our house fund a good amount and upgraded to my dream car. And it feels, I mean, I literally feel like I'm in a dream. It's so wild. So I did upgrade to the Jeep Grand Cherokee, um, the 2022, the new body style. And it's a dream. I already feel so like at home in this car. I liked the Atlas Crossport. Like it was super cute. It's a great car. Um, but I just never loved it as much as I loved that Jeep. And if y'all remember, I had a really hard time, um, but like trying to decide what kind of car I wanted. And I ended up with the Atlas and it just wasn't, it just wasn't the one for me. So I went back to the Jeep. I'm so happy with my decision. I'll show you some clips of the car right now. And then also I'm going to try on these jeans before I eat my Chick-fil-A because nobody wants to try on denim after they eat Chick-fil-A. Okay, I put on an Abercrombie top that I got too the first time I ordered these jeans because this is the outfit that made that I saw a girl wear that made me order these jeans. So these are the 31s. I'm obsessed. They're very comfy, but they're very structured. So I feel held in. They're a little longer um, than I imagined, but I think it's fine. I think they're so cute. It's giving me a nice, a nice waist. And then this shirt is also... Um, from Abercrombie as well. It's really cute. I'm obsessed. I think this is so cute. Like, who is she? She's trendy. She's cute. I'm obsessed. I also am really into the coastal grandmother thing right now, and I want nothing more than to put on like a big, loose white button down with these shorts with like these little gold hoops, some sandals, and just like strut my way through summer. So that's the plan, but these are the jeans. I'm wearing the size 12 Curve Lab. I really think I could go up a size if I wanted. Um, I don't want to, but I think I could. Um, they don't have any gapping either, which I'm a huge fan of. Booty looks good. I love these. Yay. Okay, I'm off to eat my Chick-fil-A. Hey, y'all. So it is now Saturday. Um, we are in the new Jeep. I'm so excited. So I kind of told y'all a little bit yesterday, um, but basically I wasn't 100% loving the Atlas. Like I, it was fine. I liked it. It was a good car. Um, I was a little bit peeved because there would there was random paint chipping on the front and the back and even on the sides, which like, why is the paint chipping? This car's brand new. I had only had it one year. So that was kind of annoying. And um, with the used car market, like my dealership that I bought the Atlas from was calling me anytime I took it in and asking, and like tech, they would send me random texts asking if they could give me a quote so they could buy the car back. And I always was like, no, I just bought it, I just bought it. Well, then I thought, well, I wonder how much I could get for it. So I looked into it and it looked like I was gonna get as much as I paid for it, pretty much. So I could essentially switch cars and not be out any money. But also I had good equity in it because I traded in my Jeep and I put down a few thousand dollars on that Atlas. So I owed a lot less than it was worth. Um, so we looked into it a little bit and I was looking at Jeep, the Jeep Grand Cherokees cause I loved mine so much and I really missed it. And I went to see one, to see the interior of one. Um, and the dealership that I went to that was close to my work only had the higher, like a higher package than I was planning to get. But I was like, yeah, I just want to see it. Like I want to look at the inside. So I look at the inside, obviously loved it. It has leather, um, which wasn't the original plan. Um, and 
I told them like, okay, well, I'm looking, you know, I'll probably get one without leather and these are the terms. I want this much a month. I'm not gonna put down more than this number, etc. And I want to get X number for my car. So I left and then the guy texted me and was like, we can make this work with this car, which is the Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. That's what you have to do if, when you buy a car, by the way. Go tell act them what like you want. you don't want it. You have to talk to them for a while and then just act like you're irritated and leave. Because yeah. when I bought my first car, I think I was there for two hours, like in negotiating, and mm -hmm. then finally got irritated and left. And then when I left, the guy texted me and was like, Where'd you go? We just got it done. And I'm like, Oh, it took me leaving. So. I didn't think there would be any way that I could afford this one. Like, I thought this would be just way out of price range, the higher package. So I was like, yeah, like, I'm happy I got to see it. I'll probably just get, you know, the lower package, which is, like, called the Laredo. And um, there just wasn't really one in town that I could look at. So was, he was like, if you find one out of town, let me know. We might be able to get it. And he said, I'll look too. And I told him my terms. That's why I told him that because I was like, this is, you know, I want one that will meet these terms. And, like, three hours later, he texted me and was like, I talked to my manager and we can make this work in the one that you saw. And I was like... Are you kidding me? This is like the dream car. Like this is 100% my dream car. I'm kind of still in shock. It's nice too. It is so really nice. nice, you guys. I'll show you a little close up of the interior right now, but oh, it worked out perfectly. So I'm paying 40 more dollars a month. We're getting a pretty hefty check in the mail also because I didn't put down all of the equity that I had from the Atlas into it. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like win-win. It's win-win. And I'm leasing it. So we didn't buy it, which if y'all remember last year, I was thinking about leasing last year. And I think I got cold feet and was like, I'd never leased. I didn't know anything about it. So I was like, we'll just buy it. Like, it, we'll just buy it. And now I'm like, I feel like leasing's the way to go. <laughs> we'll see. I think if, especially if you plan on... Changing cars. That well, or if you plan on buying it too. Yeah. Like if you... That's what it's we're like thinking. It's like you're already kind of putting the down payment down, so mm -hmm. you just finance later. Oh yeah, we need to get the paperwork and see how much it's. And if you go, yeah, be. I think it's a good deal too. If you mm -hmm. if you can if it's one that you have to put down like a small down payment, I feel like it's worth it. Yeah. If it's one that you have to put down like seven thousand yeah, no. dollars every three years, that seems kind of it yeah. just seems like a lot. Just because how how expensive cars are now, mm -hmm. which is ridiculous for like all of them. And with the lease, which I didn't know in the beginning, you have to put down also the taxes fees license registration which is like over two thousand dollars so you're like oh i'm gonna put two thousand down well then your two thousand turns into four thousand quickly so that's like the downside that i didn't notice or that i didn't know but we had already decided we're either gonna buy this at the end or roll it into i mean if anything i feel like i would get this again but the three row just depending on where we're at <laughs> You know, just depending on where we're at. So, but yeah, I'm obsessed and I think we would buy it. I mean, it's, she's a beauty. And I, I would drive this car. It's yeah. nice. Morgan loves it too. He's yeah, like, dang, I'll take it. One. So I could lease something else. The interior else. is so nice. It is. Let me, sh let me flip y'all around. Okay. So this over here is a whole screen. This right here. Screen. And then, um, I love, they added the new, this is new. They changed that. I love how sleek the air vents are. Like, I couldn't have it designed a better car. Honestly, this is exactly what I would have done. Huge screen. Like, big old screen. Yeah, that's like an iPad. Yeah, some of them do come with a smaller screen. And somehow we ended up with the one with the huge screen. I'm obsessed. They have this little thingy that hides your stuff. They have USB and USB-C. No um, wireless charger like my Atlas had. But that thing sucked anyways. So it was fine. Yeah, I would never really, charge my phone. It would say, can't connect, can't yeah, connect. Yeah, it really didn't. It was, if you had it in a case, which 99% of people did, yeah, it, it wouldn't didn't work. work. So. Um, the Prindle, so cute. I love the little spinny turn. It's so fun. Cup holders. A few people on Instagram asked me if it would hold like a huge water bottle. I don't think so. I would say the cup holders are semi-small. I mean, they're normal size, but I don't think it's going to hold some huge... It looks like it would hold a Yeti, honestly. Yeah, it will hold a, like a 32-ounce Yeti, but not those big water bottles. Oh, no, I don't probably think. not. Also, we got Summer Moon. And then, you want to show them this part? Yeah, sure. So, my old Jeep had this, too, but there's two ways you can open your console. So, the top one is this, like, shorter, <laughs> tiny one. 
and then you close it and there's another lever and it opens the larger pocket and you can see that little one is right here and i really like that and i just keep i have like my covid card down there my vaccination um i've got like a koozie some socks a hair clip my epi pin um some girly products and stuff in there and yeah she's a beauty anyways that's the car info just wanted to let y'all know so that I figured if I just showed up in a different car one day, people would be like, what are you doing? <laughs> what happened? Um, and I'm excited and I just wanted to share. So yay. I hope that doesn't come off as bragging. It's honestly, I'm like in shock truly, um, that it worked out this way. And I'm so super happy. Also, one thing we were just noticed is that, which my old Jeep had this too, but you can open the rear from the button and you can close it also from the button. Whereas that Atlas, you could open it from the inside, like from your driver's seat, but you couldn't close it. So once it was open, then you had to get out of your car to close it again. And I just thought that was like stupid. That was like a dumb design. But anyways, that's all from us. We're going to drink our coffee. We went to Summer Moon. We both got a quarter winter moon with almond milk. Now we're going to go home. We went to Target also and got some sandwich stuff. Yeah, Morgan is on the train. He was he was a hater at first. He was like, I'm not going to go order a, what did you say? Like a waning crescent moon coffee. I, yeah, they have really good coffee. Their menu is a little bit confusing, I will say. I had to, like, I looked into it a lot online because I was like, I don't even know what to order. And their menu doesn't tell you what things are. So it'll say, like, quarter winter moon latte. Well, what is that? Like, it's just their signature latte, but I wish it would tell you that on the menu. And the winter means that it's iced, and the summer moon latte means that it's hot. So, anyways, it took me a long time to learn that. Coffee places, they need to start making more male-friendly menus. <laughs> yeah, Morgan's like, just tell I mean, me what it is. Men can't go to those places and order coffee. Yeah, we don't want the weird names. Just tell me exactly what I'm ordering. I agree. So, anyways, went to Target. We got some sandwich stuff, and now we're headed home. I'm kind of in the cleaning mood. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Maybe I'll show you all that and that will be the end of this vlog. It's been a good one. <laughs>